In this video, we'll learn how to create a new Scatterpack X70 project. A Scatterpack is a smart microprocessor-based telemetry and control device that can help to remotely monitor and control physical objects. For example, in a water management environment, a Scatterpack can be used to monitor and control the valves on flow monitoring devices at pumping stations. The Scatterpack's one millisecond sequence of event monitoring capability is well suited to telemetry applications that require high speed timestamping and data capture. On the opening screen, there are four options to choose from. Home, this takes us back to the home page. Create project. Here we can create a new project step by step using the configuration wizard. Open project. This allows us to open an existing project saved on the PC. Read project, where we can read the project that is currently running on the Scatterpack controller. First, we'll click on create project to create a new project. The first step is to select the controller type, a Scatterpack 570, a 574, or a 575. Next, we'll need to enter the DNP address of the scatter pack that we are communicating with. Please note that when communicating with USB, Remote Connect will automatically detect the DNP address. Select the number of DNP masters. Select other relevant options, for example, DNP peer-to-peer -peer master. Click Next. Now, under PC communication type, select the relevant option. For example, if we select serial, the communication options appear, the address, the board rate, the parity, etc. If the option use dial-up modem is selected, you'll have the option of entering a modem initialization string as well as a phone number. Under the TCP option, we'll need to set up a DNP address and an IP address. When selecting USB, Remote Connect will automatically detect settings. Click Next. Now we see an overview screen detailing the configuration parameters of the Scatter Pack. By hovering the mouse pointer, the tooltips give us relevant information. Hover above the Ethernet ports to see the IP addresses, subnet masks, and IP services. Hover above the serial ports to see the configured settings. Click on the LED option to see the relevant section in the help. Under Scatter Pack Settings, we'll find the voltage alarm and UTC offset. Notice the Advanced Configuration option. All of the advanced options are hidden to simplify the user interface. Under Physical I.O. Local, we can see the I.O. of the Scatter Pack. This was pre-configured when we selected the Scatter Pack type during the initial setup. Under USB Communication USB Port, we have the option of disabling the USB port to reduce power consumption and increase security. Under serial communication ports, we see the wiring pinout diagram. Below, we see the individual settings to find on each port. Under IP communication ethernet ports, we see the gateway address, the individual port settings. Below, we'll find services, the IP routing table if required, and the IP whitelist for additional security. Under DNP3, we find such settings as the DNP slave address, the master address, and on which port they're configured. Under Modbus Communications, we see all the relevant options for setting up Modbus Communications on the Scatter Pack. Lastly, when we click on the Scatter Pack X70 Logic option, we'll see the Open Editor option. This takes us to the Logic Editor 
and this will be covered in separate videos.